Okay, so hello everyone. Today let us unbox yet another item which I got from Shopee. It is a solar street street light, cold LED light. So, okay, solar induction street lamp, model T dash twenty one zero B. So I got this from Shopee for. 777 pesos 797 inclusive of shipping so just arrived today so let's take a look at what's inside okay so it's a cold led light okay I'll give you a closer look it's got a mono crystalline solar panel so you've got a mounting hole here did they provide for screws no they did not so there's there are no screws they basically i love doing this so it's a solar cobe led light we've got a an on and off switch button here let's try doing that now so anyway turned on so this is dim also basically this is the the shut off position turn it on Turn it on. This dim. So basically, it's a, a, a sensor activated. So I'll try not moving. Let's see if it's going to dim. Okay, so it did. So I'll try to move again. Okay, so it lit up again. So basically, you've got two modes. This is full bright. Okay, so let's wait for that if, if it's going to dim. Let's give it uh, 10 seconds or 15 seconds. Okay, so it shut off. Okay, so basically it got it's got two modes so this is full bright and it's going to shut off on its own without a it's not going to dim so basically this is a dim and it's going to go full bright if it's going to send something and then it's going to dim again and then this is the shut off position so basically this is only just going to light up when it's going to sense something and then it's going to shut off again so basically that's it so anyway uh, I'm curious as to what's inside here and the battery so let's open this up uh, let's open that up okay okay so I took the screws out basically there are just six one two three four five six and I like this design because the battery is easily replaceable so you can always change a, this into a higher capacity battery. I do believe this is 1856, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, battery. So you can just buy this online as well at a higher capacity battery. So thank goodness for that. So I like this. So I do believe I'm going to change these batteries in time if this will uh, become weak. And also I do believe this is what I will do with this one as well I'm going to also change this battery to a much higher capacity battery I'm going to improvise something here so that I don't have to solder this every time I'm going to change batteries similar to something like this okay if you can see there's a spring so you you don't need to solder the batteries on when changing it so I do believe I'm going to do something to do to this as well as you can see there's a slot for the per that fits the battery perfectly fortunately I don't know maybe just to save costs they decided to just solder it on so anyway uh, I'm liking what I see so far performance wise I'm going to give you an update on that the only thing that uh, I would say that I don't like about this is that here's your mounting uh, pose, if you will. 
uh, you screw this on the wall or something then you put this like so now if you're going to place this outside uh, it can easily be stolen except only if you put it at a very high place wherein if you want to someone would want to get access to this uh, they need to have a ladder but if you're just going to put this place this in a reachable part you can just take this off like so so what I do believe I'm going to do is as soon as I screw this on the wall like so I'm going to screw something on this here as well so that way it won't be easily taken out uh, by some unscrupulous people if they intend to they need to have a ladder and also a screwdrivers okay so before installing it I'm going to have the batteries fully charged first so by the way this is my Golisi charger I'm going to place a link somewhere around here okay so let's wait for that to charge okay so the batteries now are all fully charged so I'm going to install this back on and then let's do some testing okay so let's put the battery back on so by the way this is the positive this is the negative basically the way you can tell there's no indicator basically this I do believe this oh not really but basically if the, the side that's got a spring on it is going to mean it's negative so basically the both sides uh, is it's got the spring on it so both are basically positive so I'm going to screw this back on okay so uh, with this as well I'm going to install the batteries by the way if you've noticed I've already made a you know an improvise so I don't have to keep soldering this this battery on okay so positive negative okay so let's see okay so there we go okay so this is my setup I don't know if you can see that not right now but it turns on so this the solar motion sensor light the the pyramid looking one and this is the comb okay sorry about that so that's how bright it is I'm going to back away let's wait for that to turn off okay so it turned off let's wait for the other one to turn off also okay so I'm going to come closer and so it turned on okay so that's how bright it is and I'll show you one more thing basically I just want to show you this one I covered at least one fourth of the dome that covers the sensor so that uh, it won't be too sensitive I also did that on this one so because Without that, every time someone passes right in front of here, or a vehicle, or a motorcycle, it turns on and it discharges quickly. So I don't want that to happen. I want it not to be too sensitive, uh, only to light up only when someone comes at least about a meter close to the gate. So this is the first night. I'm going to check this again uh, tomorrow. Oh, oh, by the way, I turned that off, so I forgot. Let me turn that on. Okay. Right now, it's no longer too sensitive because before, uh, especially with this one I've had that facing the street so every time a motor vehicle or a person or someone on his motorcycle passes by it turns on 
and the battery discharges quickly so I'm going to try again tomorrow let's see if still works or is still as bright okay so this is the second night and both are still working because it doesn't need to light up every time someone passes by or a vehicle passes by in front of the street only when someone passes by within that point there will this thing turn on so i'm still observing so let's check tomorrow okay so this is the third night and it no longer uh, gets discharged i mean the battery that is so uh, it's amazing what they i you cannot see that but what a simple tape can do okay so this way again whenever a vehicle passes by it no longer turns on it's no longer that sensitive okay so this is day five in order for you to see much better what i did as you can see i taped the sensor so it would it would not be a sensitive similar to this one okay so i think it's time to wrap this video up as you can see it's still working both are still working uh, that being because it's not overwork so the batteries uh, uh, no longer gets discharged quickly so all in all if you ask me uh, will I buy anything like this I think so but uh, I will I would prefer to put this in an area where in it's not going to be overwork so I think I'm going to replace it with this with something that is uh, with a much more higher capacity solar panel because honestly I would like it to light up whenever someone passes right in front of this gate so anyway uh, that's it so full disclosure I do not advertise for that product or this uh, I bought that with my own money uh, so if you like this video please subscribe and like thank you for watching